songwriting for me has evolved over the years. I wasn't first a songwriter. Um, I've been a singer growing up, really, my whole life. As, as a kid, I come from one of these families with parents who did music and, and brothers and sisters who did music. And um, I was just one of those kids that got up and sang and, and hung around with my older brother. And he really taught me about music, taught me how to play instruments and harmonize and sing. Um, so we would do a lot of cover songs when we would go out and play. But it wasn't until college, really, that I started listening to specifically country music, Arthur Brooks, Alan Jackson, George Strait, um, that I fell in love with this style of music and really started listening to what the songs were saying. Before that, it was just, I was listening to melody and tune, and I really would just dig the groove of a song versus really dive in to what the lyrics were saying. And I remember hearing those songs of, of Garth back in the, in the mid-90s or so, and, and I felt like those songs were just talking to me, just like you guys probably thought the same thing. The, the, you relate to country music, you relate to those lyrics, and that's what really got me into country music and really what got me thinking about writing my own songs and how I could express whatever was happening in my own life at the time. Uh, and that was college for me, so there was a lot of, a lot of uh, ups and downs and love and lost and, and, and uh, things like that. But um, that was really where I first wrote my first song was, was in college. I was probably a, a sophomore in college at the time. And um, I look back at that song now, <laughs> I kind of laugh and grin and say, what was I thinking? But uh, don't ask me to play it, I will not do it. But um, that's where it all got started, I would say. And, and hopefully it's just evolving over time. You said, son, come sit down. Right. So when I first started songwriting, um, Looking back, the song, <laughs> the songs were not good. Let's just leave it at that. Uh, no, I'll expand on that. When I first started writing, it was all about trying to sound like what was on the radio. I wanted to sound like Garth or, at the time, Dave Matthews and Matchbox 20. I was trying to emulate what I heard on the radio, which I think we still do today, but I didn't have any depth in what I was saying. My lyrics were all over the place, and they really didn't have... Uh, focused meaning and, and looking back at that now I think that's a huge difference from a beginner songwriter to a more seasoned or advanced songwriter is of course as you look deeper in depth into that lyric they're focused and they tell a specific story and they get you from place to place in every line and as a beginner songwriter I certainly did not do that this is the good life this is what it's all about not... I moved to Nashville it's been three years now for me in Nashville and I've always wanted to come here to Nashville and, and try my hand at this Nashville scene. I came here 10 years ago, passed through town, and I saw what Broadway was, and I thought that was so cool back then. I wanted to be a rock star on Broadway. Well, I really didn't know that there was this whole other songwriting world until I learned throughout the years what that was. And I moved to town um, just to take my shot, see what I could do see if I could fit in the mix, see if I could get in the game and, and use whatever I had as experience in life, um, uh, musical talent, if it was there, come and test it out and see if I could fit in. And um, Nashville has welcomed me with open arms as far as the people here. It's a wonderful community and um, people are helpful and, and kind. And uh, you gotta bring your A game when you're writing with these people. Um, but at first, it's intimidating. It really is. But you come to town and put yourself in the game and, and see if you can make any waves. He said this life can be as sweet as fresh tomatoes. The, the first steps when coming to town is you, you got to get out and meet people. Um, it actually just happened to me today. Somebody down there on Broadway uh, met a new musician and he said he was just brand new to town and gave me his business card and he's ready to go. And, and I thought, man, that was me a few years ago. And that's exactly what this town is. You got to get yourself here, put yourself in the mix and uh, really go listen to what people are doing because there's such a high level of songwriting here that we have to aspire to. Now, not all of it is high level. There's, there's us beginners all the way up to the top. Um, and when I first got here, I was definitely way down at the bottom, and I didn't know what kind of game I was getting into. I remember something specific. I was at the old listening room here in Nashville, and Marcus Hummond was on stage, and I didn't know who Marcus Hummond was at the time. 
And, but I did know the song he was playing, and he was playing the song God Bless the Broken Road, of course, by Rascal Flatts. And the person I was there with, I said, man, I thought this was a, a songwriter's night. I thought this was all original music. Because he was playing God Bless the Broken Road. I'm like, that's a Rascal Flatts song. He said, no, you idiot. That's the dude that wrote the song. So, you know, that hit me hard. That's what Nashville is. It's these people that are writing these amazing songs. And they're all over town. And when I first got here, I just want to listen and learn and, and take it all in and, and see if I can work my way up to that level. 